Good morning, this is Jessica Patterson from Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts. Today I'm going to show you how I make bats on my brother 4 inch drum carter. As you can see in the picture here is the beast itself. I got this one from Brother Drum Carter's store on Etsy. I believe they also have a website and they sell on eBay as well. Now I got the four inch drum carter for my purposes because this drum carter is um, for primarily making roving, which I like to work with uh, rather than large uh, bats. It also, this is, has the brush for pressing down the fibers and came with other accessories as well. Now, you may be asking, what is a bat? Well, a bat is a preparation of fiber. It's basically fibers pressed out and, or stretched out and pressed together. And this is a bat I just made this morning from my own sheep's wool. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's sort of like, looks like a sandwich of fiber. It's all fluffed out and mixed together. And this was run through the drum carter once. It's beautiful, sort of creamy white wool. And I'm going to be spinning with a spindle and just a preparation. And this one here is a bat I made some time ago of various merino, or actually it's cordial, and silk and sari silk and sparkle. And this is your typical bat. This is usually made for more artistic purposes. As you can see as I unfold it, it's got that sari silk in there which will, will provide a pop of color and texture and it's just really, really fun to combine things on a drum carter to create these. I like spinning very fine yarn, so texture is, uh, comes out very boldly in those in finer yarns. But that's, that's basically what a bat is. People add more stuff for more uh, texture like locks and you know chunks of different fibers and stuff and that's fun that's just not what I do now to get our little basket of fibers here I'm going for Christmassy green today and this setup is I bought was given a kit from Big Sky Fiber Arts on Etsy that was it's called a bag of brilliance and last I looked they were mostly sold out but they'll probably come back in stock and this one was rainforest of various greens so I got two different shades of green merino today and I believe this is Tussa silk here and also I have from that same bag of brilliance some nylon uh, and from a different kit, or actually from a spinning class, I have straight up silk. And from the Woolery, which is one of my favorite places to get fiber, I have Angelina Sparkle in the peacock color. Now this says 0.5 ounces, half an ounce. And but this goes a very long way. You don't put a lot of sparkle in bats or anything unless you want, you know, sparkle everywhere. It's like glitter. It gets on everything. All right, so let's show you how this works. This is actually the second run through of this particular bat. And what I want to tell you about building a bat is that it's somewhat like a cake. You have your cake batter or your cake mix that is the foundation and the structure of your cake and like and for a bat that is your wool your main wool uh, which could be merino corridale baby doll whatever wool is going to be the structure and foundation of your bat and um, that's going to be what holds it together uh, the filling 
is your silk or um, nylon or you know something that gives it a little more structure and um, adds particular traits to it and not all bats have this sort of filling and um, lastly you have your frosting which could be as simple as a cream frosting whereas you put in some sparkle or something like that um, or as complex as your piped on flowers and things, which in the case of a bat would be locks. Sometimes people put feathers and sequins and, you know, sometimes even pieces of fabric, um, small chunks of yarn and such. That's your, at your additions to your bat. They are the things that give it uh, struck, uh, texture and uh, make it interesting visually and um, what I'm trying to relay by the cake analogy is you know the wool is your main ingredient the uh, the filling you know relatively you don't put much filling in and uh, in that you don't put much silk or nylon or anything. It's a relatively small amount. It goes a long way. And then your, um, your frosting is even less. So it goes even further. Your, your sparkle and your locks and all the other bonus additions just, um, you don't need much. So I hope this helps you. I really am glad to share this with you and uh, look forward to doing more videos in the future. Thank you for watching.
our pretty Christmas bat is done. I ran it through the drum carter twice and added in the rest of the sparkle. And as you can see, it turned out lovely. And for me, it's ready to spin. Anyway, have a nice day.